How's it feeling out there, Aiden? Yeah, good. I think we can start to push a little. Uh, where's Casper? Ahead of you. Don't worry about Casper, Aiden. Let's just improve your current position. Yeah, copy. Casper sat in P8. Casper is a couple of places up on you. Good, good job, nice overtake. Casper is directly ahead of you. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. It's clear from anyone watching either in the stands or at home the determination on show from Williams and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, Ant. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season and his driving today impeccable. Here's a test for him now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two and his teammates after him. Will he budge? Hold position, Aiden. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before. Two teammates wheel to wheel. Keep it clean. Inches separating them and they crash. Oh, they've come together in spectacular style. And they're both out of the race.
Close the door. Sit down. What the hell was going on out there? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you both. Acting like... like a couple of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, Not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're both out, do you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Go away. Hey. Hey. So, what did he say? Threatened to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You've survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. I'll see you later. Another season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth, but Williams still hopeful the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. His teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. He did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kaspar. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. But I shouldn't have to. Something's not right. Understood, Casper. We're on it. It's the gearbox. I've lost the gear. Push on, Casper. We're assessing. Just push on best you can. I'll try.
OK, bad news on the gearbox. The team are trying everything they can think of, but they're not optimistic. Um, just keep at it, do your best, that's all we can ask. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Alright, so we've been looking at the damage, and we think you should be okay to continue. It'll cost us a little bit of time, but we're nearly at the end of the race. The gap to the car ahead is 3.4 seconds. There's three laps of fuel remaining.
Our gap to the car in front is 5.6 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We have two laps of fuel remaining. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. Red Bull pulling out all the stops today. What a great win. Well, what's happened there to Kasper Ackerman? Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating at. Yeah, it looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Well, this isn't the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. So, not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? I have no comment. I need to talk to my team and sort out the problem. There's nothing to say. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? Well, this is where experience comes in. You just have to switch off, be mindful, but 
Try and ignore what is going on around you. To concentrate only on the problem at hand, and hope for the best. While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aiden? No comment. Aiden is focusing on Aiden. I'm concentrating on me this season. It's that simple. Great. Well, that's everything. Losing grip. Understood. Can you box next lap, Casper? Box next lap. No. I need to come in. Oh, it's quite bad. We've got Aiden coming in now. Just hold out one more lap, please, Casper. Isn't he a lap down? Yes, he's uh, on a different strategy, though. Haven't I got priority? He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Fine. Nope. I'm all over the place here. I'm coming in now. It's been pretty urgent for Aiden, huh? Please be patient, Casper. Uh, there goes another piece. And another. Okay, let's go, let's go. OK, that wasn't ideal. Let's see if you can get a few places back, please, Casper. Now I'm on it. Nice work, that brings you up a place. Okay, you're in the top ten.
OK, gap ahead is 1.8 seconds. There's five laps of fuel remaining. There's three laps of fuel remaining. OK, good work, great pass.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane, and might that cause more friction behind the scenes? Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be. They denied each other a significant number of points last season, and if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seemed as if there was some sort of clash in pitting strategy. Can you talk us through it? Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tires begin to go off and Realized I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so no harm done. So the problem we all witnessed today was a team call and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season between you and Aidan Jackson. Well, I'm not going to lie, as I'm sure it's obvious to everyone here. Aiden and I have never really seen eye to eye, which causes some tension. But we're also professionals, so it shouldn't get in the way of our performance. I'm sure we'll work through it. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper issue behind the scenes. What would you say to that? 
I can't really comment on that. It doesn't matter what's going on behind the scenes, as long as we all perform on the day. Thank you for your time. I just don't get it, Zoe. He gets to pit ahead of me. And they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me in qualifying. <sighs> this kid is the new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on. This is your last season. You said you'd make it count. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well... In the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Zanvort next, remember? Everyone's gonna be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Well, that's... that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Mm. Yeah. First album's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it. <laughs> 